Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today we're going to replace the screen on the iPhone XR. So for this repair, the tools that you will need will be a P2 driver, a Y000 bit, a PH000 bit, a metal prying tool, a plastic prying tool, a programmer for the face ID, and some heat. As you can see, my screen didn't come with a frame. If yours did, you can skip to about 5 minutes and 9 seconds. I believe that's when you can continue, or whatever's on the screen. But yeah, feel free to skip to that. So the first thing we want to do is power off the phone, and then remove the bottom two screws with the P2 driver. Next, you want to add some heat around the edges, but personally, I did not do so. So what you want to do is grab the razor blade and start lifting up on the bottom of the screen. Once the screen is lifted up, you want to grab a plastic pick to go around the edges of the screen. Make sure not to get too far in, or else you may damage the cables. Once you lift up the bottom and the sides, you want to lift up the top, just like you do on the iPhone X and on the iPhone 8. and then the screen will lift up to the right. There may be a bunch of adhesive laying around. You don't need to replace the adhesive, but I highly recommend it, especially if you want to keep your phone water resistant. We will be replacing the adhesive later on in this video. So now we're going to grab the Y000 bit and remove these three screws from the top portion, and then remove the two screws from the bottom portion. Lastly, we'll grab the PH000 bit and remove this top right screw on this metal panel. And then we'll wiggle this panel out. Next, we want to remove this metal panel right here, which is very easy to take out, but I was making this more difficult than it should be. Next, you want to pop off this top cable. And then you want to pop off the LCD cable and the digitizer cable. Now that the screen's off, we want to grab the PH000 bit and start removing these three screws right here. And then you want to grab the Y000 bit and remove the one screw on the top left. Once those screws are gone, the speaker cable will fold over like shown, and then you want to remove the rest of the cable. Be very careful in this area because if you damage any of these parts, you will not be able to get Face ID working. For the light sensor, there's this little metal piece that will need to be removed, and you can just move it over to the side. Once that's lifted out, lift up the other sensor, and then start removing the microphone. This is very easy to remove without tearing, but I recommend being very careful when removing this piece. If you need to add a little bit of heat, go ahead and do that. Just make sure not to add heat for too long. Once that's removed, using that Y000 bit, you can start removing the top two screws, the right side two screws, the left side three screws, and the two screws on the bottom corners. Now this part may be a little bit difficult to do. We want to separate the metal panel from the rest of the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift up the panel on the right side, and then we're going to lift up the panel on the bottom side, making sure to unhook these two pieces on the bottom. Now if your screen is broken, you can feel free to just remove this cable from the metal panel, but in this situation, I was trying to preserve the LCD, so I was being very careful. If you want to do the same thing, separate these two cables, and use a pick to pry the cable on the left. Remember there's some adhesive on the bottom area, and if you're not careful enough, you could rip that cable. If you want to add some heat, feel free to add a little bit of heat, and then to keep prying. Once you get to this rectangular IC chip, it may be a little bit more difficult to pry in, but don't use a metal blade like I did. Keep using that plastic pick and you should be able to cut through that adhesive.
Once that's loosened up, you can put it over to the side and then slide this cable through. And then that's it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the digitizer cable on the left and we're gonna plug this into the machine and then we're gonna click read. And then once it says read data completion, you can unplug it. Now we're gonna grab the new screen and plug that back into the iPhone XR area. Click writing and then click yes. It'll say writing data, write data completion, verifying data, and then data verified correct. Next, you can unplug that screen, as well as the screen programmer. Next, we wanna get rid of this red tape thing, along with these blue tape things. Your screen may be different, but for this one, there's this little white piece that you have to pull, kinda of like a command strip, and then the digitizer cable should separate. So we can continue removing these pieces, remembering that the bottom piece has adhesive. Next, we can put this metal panel back in, sliding that LCD cable in carefully. and making sure that these bottom hooks go in without damaging the LCD. These hooks have to go in or else you may experience some issues. Next, what we're gonna do is put the screws back in, starting with the top two, then going to the bottom two, and then moving on to the side screws. Once all the screws are in, we can line up the digitizer cable and set that down and prepare for the top portion. So the next thing we're gonna do is add the top cable back in, making sure they all sit back in place properly. We're going to put that little metal piece over the sensor again. Then we're going to fold over the speaker and we're going to add all four screws back in. So what we're going to do is we want to clean up the whole phone before we add adhesive. You want to clean up around the edges where the adhesive was, obviously, and make sure it's perfectly flat so then there's no problems when putting the adhesive down. So since I've already done that, we're going to grab the new adhesive and we're going to line this up. I recommend lining up on the top where the front cameras are because these little holes will kind of help you out. So line up the top left area and then line up the top right area and everything should set down pretty well. I recommend using something small and flat so you can easily apply pressure to all sides of the adhesive. You want to make sure that the adhesive sticks or else it could come off when you take off this piece. The adhesive that I had was a two-step piece, but you might have a one-step piece. So once we remove the top layer, we're going to remove this bottom layer, but also be careful to make sure that the adhesive does stick. In my case, it didn't really stick that well, so I had to add more pressure to make sure that this stays down. Now it's sticking down pretty reasonable, I'm going to remove this and it should just come off pretty easily. And there we go. Now we can finish putting the phone back together. So what we want to do is plug in the top cable. and then put this little metal panel back in place. Remember that the PH000 screw is on the top right and the Y000 screws are on the bottom left, bottom right, and the top left. Next we'll plug in the digitizer and LCD cables, but first we'll remove these little mesh pieces because they're not really needed. So once those are plugged in, we can put the metal panel back on and put in the two screws. Once everything's in, you can power on the phone and make sure that the screen does work. Everything seems to be working, so we're going to push down on the screen and we're going to put in the bottom two screws. And that's it. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or on Twitter at Matt of RWR. And feel free to follow me on the social media listed above. Also subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this as well as review videos. And hit that bell button so then YouTube actually reminds you when those videos do come out. Thanks for watching.